Well, hello there, my fellow humans. So today we are going to explore a experimental tool from Google. Actually, if you want to be specific, it comes from Google Labs experiments. If you're not aware of Google Labs, it's actually where they do a lot of cool, as it says, experiments. Sometimes they continue existing. A lot of them get killed, to be fair. Some of the products that have come out of Google Labs have been pretty good. Notebook LM in the last few years being one of them. So a current one is what they call Career Dreamer. And basically what this is, is as they say, it's a playful way to explore career possibilities with AI. Now, this is only available in the United States at the moment. If you've got a VPN, you can get around that, of course. I never said that for legal reasons. So what does this do and what's going on? So what you're able to do is basically talk to this tool and share what you've done from an experience perspective, share what you've done from a skills perspective. And then what this tool does is a few things. So one, it helps tell your professional story, it helps you be a storyteller and basically create what they call here as a, a career identity statement. And then what it goes on to do is help you to explore other career possibilities. So it looks at your current skills, it looks at transferable skills and what other roles or careers may be of benefit to you, you may be interested in. And then once it's done that, it then pushes you into Google's large language model of Gemini to help you apply for jobs, build cover letters, explore more ideas as you can see here. So we're gonna have a run through and see how this works from start to finish and see if it's something worth trying out. I think it is, just as a kind of quick, too long didn't watch this video, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we'll start here. And then as you can see, to start share a, a current or previous role. So I'm gonna say chief learning strategist because I gave myself that role. Organizational industry. So let's just say learning and development, although it feels like I stretch a lot more these days. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna generate some insights for me. Hopefully it asks me some more questions. Um, okay, select all the tasks that I perform. Mm. There's a lot of tasks, my friend. Develop an imprint, comprehensive learning strategy, blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of corporate speak there, isn't it? So yes, 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 yes. Let's just say those for now. Okay, cool. Let's see what it comes up with next. Free skills that apply to me. I'm going to say strategic thinking, performance consulting, of course. I like that you've got that. Data analysis. Let's take a look what other skills you've got. Okay. So let's just say stakeholder management. It looks like we can add in more skills if we want to. It says skills are sourced from Lightcast. I don't know what that is, so that'd be good to investigate. So let's just click next there. All right. So since well done, we've added our experience, we've added our skills. Okay. Here we go. So on the right hand side here, I've got my career statement, which I suppose you could use in your CV, you could use on LinkedIn as an example, and you can see that over here. It's all right, pretty dry. I would add in a lot in there, but as an ugly first draft, it's useful. And we can start with that. Again, you can see here, you can regenerate if you want to, you can just copy that. We can add in interest, we can add more experience. So I could just say, you know, let's say digital learning manager, which I did a long time ago. Industry, which is in retail. And then we'll see what happens here. It's probably going to go through the same process again from the looks of it. So we'll just select, let's say select all oh, next. I really need some elevator music in these uh, videos sometimes. Okay, so let's take a look. project management, needs assessment, I hate e-learning and those other bits, so I'm not gonna put that in and then they'll update it. So you get the idea. What you're able to do here is add in lots of data around what you've been working on, the roles that you've been doing, the companies that you've been at, you can put in your interests as well. So if you're looking for some help like that LinkedIn profile, that CV, you know, check this out. All right, let's go to the next stage. Let's explore paths and see what's going on here. Oh, this is exciting. Look at this. 
exploring the market and seeing what's going on. Again, this is USA based at the moment, so this is going to be um, very different. Right, database result. Is that just one of them? Director of Instruction and Curriculum Specialist. Yeah, I'd never do that. Um, <laughs> so let's have a look. So, okay, a couple of things here. So database result is where they've gone out and looked at lots of job data. And then AI result looks like what the AI would suggest I could do as well. And I can say there if this is helpful or not helpful. So there's a bunch of stuff on there that it thinks with kind of the very basic skills that I've given and the information that I could do. A lot of this makes sense. Obviously, learn tech specialist. That's interesting. Social media strategist. I'm not too sure about a creative director. CLO. Obviously, if I was in an organization, that would be interesting. Let's take a look there. Okay, so I can change this up. So I can take out my experiences and just say, give me paths based on my skills. Again, take into account that this is experimental. It's not full product. It's not going to be 100% accurate. So it's just cool to have a play around of it. Yeah, that got worse. <laughs> so there's a bunch of stuff in there. Definitely wouldn't do. Statistician. God, my math sucks. That would not happen at all. Why am I seeing these results? Let's take a little look at that. Okay, so that's just telling us so I can continue to model my, modify my profile. Then I'll get better results. Makes sense. Cool, cool. All right. And what I can do is, so I would just pick one of these. Let's just say I'm going to change the technology consultant. Ooh, the salary there. What do I need? Oh, interesting. Okay, sweet spot. So how might that role overlap where I am now? That's cool. So we look at the skills that might be of interest. What happens if we keep going down? A day in the life, what I might do. Impressive. They're not really setting that role there. But anyway, let's continue down this uh, down this avenue. Areas for growth. Okay, cool. So what could I learn and grow? Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool as a structure that you could use for other elements in career development. Upskilling resources. Okay, cool. So obviously Google will push some of their certificates here. That needs a bit of work because it's not quite working. Okay. I like that. That is a good starting base there. Uh, nice. Okay, so let's just go back to that and let's say jump to Gemini. Cool. So in Gemini, we've got a few things that we can do. So we can chat with Gemini. We can workshop a resume for that role if we wanted to for other roles. Workshop a cover letter or explore more job ideas. Let's go to explore more job ideas. Okay, that's going to push me out to Gemini, which is fine. Cool. So that's interesting. So you've actually given it a shot. You can go to grow.google slash career dreamer. I will put in the link to wherever you're viewing this on YouTube or LinkedIn or whatnot. Also check out Google Labs experiments as well. I don't let me go there because it's got some really cool stuff. But yeah, like I say, that's just a quick overview of an experimental tool. Let's see what happens if Google continues with that or kills it. I think what's really interesting here, there is some concepts, there is some structure that maybe you can borrow still or be inspired by to use in your own applications and work that you're doing in LND. But as always, I hope that's helpful and I will speak to you in the next one.